Hi there, Chris Stegall here with MK Partners. Uh, today we are going to do a quick marketing cloud how-to. Uh, this one is something that has come up a lot, both for uh, internal use and client efforts. Um, how to add a favicon in the uh, to a landing page to a cloud page. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen here. Um, for those of you that don't remember uh, your Internet 101 class from high school or whatever it was. Uh, favicons are those little tiny, you can see my cursor up here, when you have a bunch of tabs open and you get to see the little tiny image icon next to each tab. Um, you can see here we have our office hours webinar and that one does have the favicon already in there. Um, and you can see our closer look, Mambo Merge webinar does not. And so that's the one we're going to be adding today. Some things that you will need for this project are, of course, your image that you want to be the little icon up there. Um, in this case, we have that as our Mambo Merge Fave Icon logo. And it's like Fave Icon. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's one of those things that I've only ever seen written down. Um, so in my head, it's Fave Icon, the same way like Emoticon. But I can imagine other people would say Fave Icon, uh, you know, Please comment below if I'm saying it incorrectly or correctly. Um, and then just for you know, sort of personal knowledge here, you can see that's the actual size of this, right? This is 128 by 128 pixels. Um, I just took our Illustrator vector, downsized it to that. In real life, though, right? Like the the icon itself on this tab is only going to be like 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So you need a square image. Um, it can be that small. I don't like it that small because it's hard to see. But again, like if you're going to do it larger like I did at this 128, um, you do want to make sure that when it's at 16 by 16, you can see it right there, that it still has some sort of legibility, right? So nothing with a ton of text or anything like that. Um, this really should be an icon. That's why you'll see Salesforce does just the little cloud. Um, you know, once you see these, you'll start seeing them everywhere. StreamYard, what I'm using for this is using a little uh, duck, which is kind of cool. Um, it's like your logo goes there. Great. I have rambled on long enough. Let's get into doing this. Um, and you're right. So first, uh, this does seem like something that should be somewhere in the marketing cloud settings out of the box. I have yet to find it. Um, I know how to add it to individual cloud pages, and that's what we've been doing um, ever since. Um, but yeah, this would be something that... If I was going to send a note to the idea exchange for Marketing Cloud, I would put, uh, you know, in the branding setup, in upload your favicon here. We'll add it to all of the cloud pages you create. It should be on the cloud pages themselves, right? But it's not. So we will head over to our cloud pages section and into our Mambo Merge collection. And the office hours one is the one that we already have the favicon in. The closer look is the one where we want to add it. So we will jump into that. And what we're going to do is add a little snippet of code um, to the HTML for the page. So um, first of all, when you load, unless you've been messing with the code in the past, when you open your cloud page, you're going to land on this screen that has like the content blocks, content layouts, design, et cetera. Um, but since we want to add this snippet to the HTML for the page, just go ahead and click on code view up here at the top. That will open the HTML section here. Um, and if you remember back from the MySpace, Friendster, whatever days, um, our HTML code is made up of a series of tags, right? They get opened with these brackets like head. Here's the opening head tag. Everything in there lives within that head tag. And then the tag gets closed with that slash head. Uh, so this, you can see, is closing the style tag that is going to open right here. Um, and so we have a snippet that we need to add. Um, that snippet is right here. I won't read it to you, but it's basically a piece of code. And then in all caps, I've written your image URL here. That's where we're going to put the image itself that we want to appear as the favicon. So let's grab this whole piece of, of code here. Um, and I'll put this in the description for the video and the blog post as well. So you can just copy and paste it um, yourself. Um, so let's add this into the head tag. So anywhere below where the head tag gets opened and above where the head tag closes, I like it right here in between the style tag being closed and the head tag being closed. So here we go, link, blah, blah, blah. The href, right? It's going to be pointing at a URL. So this should be the URL for our image. Where does that image live? That's a good question. 
Um, let's go ahead and save this for now. We got to go find the location of that image. If this is your first time doing it, um, the image doesn't live anywhere in Marketing Cloud yet. It might live somewhere else on your website, um, which I guess theoretically you could point here, um, but I would feel more comfortable hosting the image inside Marketing Cloud since the page lives inside Marketing Cloud. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, also helpful if you're you know, working with an icon that doesn't exist somewhere else. So let's head over to Content, our Content Builder. And this is you know, going to be as simple as uploading something. So if you haven't, like you can see mine right here has already been uploaded. If it hadn't, I would say let's go ahead and upload some content. You can simply drag content into here to upload, or you can do what I did and click and then, you know, select the content that you would like to upload. Um, and, you know, it's, it's already uploaded and I'm hesitant to add more content, but I do want to show you that you have to like publish and finalize. So we'll do that there. I've selected this. It's now been uploaded, but it's, it hasn't, right? It's pending upload and publishing. And if it's, if you're new to marketing cloud, you might be looking around going, I have options. I have remove where is upload and publish. It's, it's right here. It exists. It's just enough outside of the box that some people miss it. So look outside of the box, think outside of the box, upload and publish. And then once that is done, it will, you know, take its place in the little lineup here. Um, but that doesn't solve our problem. We need to know the URL for this image. So how do I find that? Click on the little uh, downward arrow here and we have properties, share, et cetera, copy published URL. That's the URL where this has been published, the URL where it lives. So I will click on copy that. It has been copied. It is on my clipboard. I can prove it by, you know, popping over into a document and hitting paste. Um, I, you know, never regret saving that URL somewhere else. So I don't always have to jump into Content Builder to copy it, but there we go. It's on my clipboard. So now we can head back to our cloud page. Okay, there's the Closer Look webinar. And that opens us right back into our code view. Let's scroll down to where we added that little snippet. Here it was. Uh, and we're just gonna replace that your image URL here with our actual URL. Let's click Save. Give it a second to spin. Once it has saved, then I'm gonna go ahead and click schedule and publish. Let's publish this immediately. And now it's published successfully. So let's see if it worked. Right now we have no favicon up here. Let's go ahead and refresh that page and survey says, look at that. Now it matches our closer look webinar. And if I zoom in, it's gonna zoom in inside the the window, so you're not actually going to get any closer to this. I might have a magnifying glass in like my accessibility tools. Is there like a, okay, so I'll click on the Apple. Let's go to system preferences, accessibility. Da, 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 da. It should be this one, right? It looks like a magnifying glass. That's what I want, but that's not what I need. I need the accessibility settings and zoom. Yes, that's what I want. Uh, let's go ahead and say, I want, is that command shift eight? Is that what I'm seeing there? Wow, look at that. Okay, there we go. Can you see that a little bit better? Perhaps the favicon is, you know, existing on both. I can't really manipulate the screen too well. Um, and maybe I don't know how to get out of the, aha, we're out of the Zoom, we did it. Um, but now you know. Um, so just a quick recap, to add the favicon to your cloud pages, simply go into the code view for the page, add this little snippet of code somewhere inside that head section, then take your favicon, add it to the content builder in Marketing Cloud, or if it's already been added, Simply locate it, copy the URL so that you can take that 
uh, published image URL and add it to the code snippet. Then just make sure you save and republish the landing page, and there it is. Uh, so, and you know, once you've done it once, um, theoretically, you don't need to do all that work again. Uh, I could have simply gone to the office hours page, grabbed the snippet because it already had the correct image in there, and just copied and pasted that right over. But then, how would you learn how I did it the first time? So now you know. Um, Again, like I said, if I uh, pronounce that in a way that you dislike uh, or want to correct me, I would appreciate it. Um, if you have anything else that you have been struggling with in Marketing Cloud or broader Salesforce in general, please do let us know. I'm always looking for ideas for how to make these series more helpful and make sure we're tackling stuff that folks are running into on a daily basis. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Um, enjoy Trailblazer DX this week. Um, have a wonderful week yourselves and uh, look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.